Good evening. Thanks for joining us in the news at 8. Today, the 11th day in the month of December 2023. I am Grace Dorfers with Yekachi. First, major headlines. Our citizens' right to enjoy good governance sacrosanct. Governor Oti assures Abians. Police recover locally fabricated firearms and arrest four suspects in Enugu State. President Tinibu mourns as veteran broadcaster Aisha Bello dies. We take commercials, we we'll right back with details and many more stay connected. Experience the smooth and strong feeling that consistently surpasses expectation. Leading the way in high performance lubricants, Master Supermode Oil is as durable as titanium. Welcome back. Now, the details. Abia State Governor Dr. Alex Oti says his administration will continue to uphold the rights of the citizens to enjoy good governance. Governor Oti, in a statement issued on Sunday to celebrate this year's International Human Rights Day, said the people of Abia and all residents of the state, irrespective of their ethnic, religious, or political affiliations, are entitled to good governance. The Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Kaze Uko, said in a statement. Abia State Governor Dr. Alex Oti has called on all stakeholders to join hands with the government to restore education in the state to its former glory. Governor Oti made the call at a Thanksgiving service on Sunday, organized by the Ozako Methodist College Old Boys Association, as part of the activities marking the centenary anniversary of the college and 100 years of secondary school education in southeast of Nigeria. The police in Enugu State said it recovered locally fabricated arms and ammunition from criminals in the last two weeks. The security operatives also recovered ATM cards used by criminals to defraud bank customers who genuine cards they swapped. Police operatives also arrested four suspects in connection with the recoveries. The spokesman DS DSP Daniel Udukwe stated on Monday in Enugu. The APA social political group, or Hanez in Debo, has asked the federal government to release the leader of the indigenous people of Piafara, Namdi Kanu, as a Christmas gift for the Southeast region. The Vice President of Hanez in Debo, worldwide Chief Damien Okeke Ogene, stated this on behalf of the group while speaking to our correspondent in an interview on Sunday adding that anything short of Kanu's release meant the hope of the people in the Southeast had been dashed this Christmas. The call by Honese comes ahead of the December 15, 2023 Supreme Court judgment in the federal government's case against Kanu. Seven students of the Federal University of Lafia in Nasrawa State who were kidnapped four days ago have been freed. The president of the student's Representative Council Ibrahim Ogabo confirmed the release in a phone conversation with China's television. The students were released on Sunday evening through the joint efforts of the military and other security forces. The Ondo State House of Assembly has said it won't probe the allegations that the signature of Ali Governor Rotimi Akeredulu is being forged by some state actors. There have been allegations from different quarters that the signature of the governor was forged on some official document of the state. However, in an interview on Sunday, the majority leader of the State House of Assembly, Mr. Oluole Ogumo Lasui, said that the legislature had no intention to prove the forgery allegation. The People's Redemption Party has said that the 2024 budget recently submitted to the National Assembly by President Bola Hamed Tinibu was aimed at the continuous impoverishment of the people. It said the government that claimed to have inherited a bankrupt and empty treasury appears not to be circumspect of the state as its actions, particularly in making appointment, do not appear to show that the administration was indeed serious in its desire to pro provide renewed hope. The Lagos State Tariff Management Authority has confirmed the dismissal of five officers and reprimanded two for being guilty of corruption and misconduct 
while performing their duties in the state. This was disclosed in a statement by the public relations officer, Latsma Adebayo Tayofink on Sunday. President Bola Ahmed Tinibu has said he is desirous of making Nigerians happy by providing good and responsive governance. He therefore pleaded with the people to give him the benefit of the doubt by availing his administration the needed support. Speaking at a graduation ceremony of Senior Executive Course 45 of the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies, Kuru Nejos, the president said he was not unaware of the current situation in the country, stressing, however, that his administration was on course in getting Nigerians on the right path to recovery. A veteran broadcaster with the Nigerian Television Authority, NTA, Aisha Bello, is dead. Bello, who spent 35 years at NTA until her retirement in 2022, reportedly died on Monday. In a statement by presidential spokesman, Ajuri Ngelali, President Bola Tinibu expressed grief over Bello's demise, saying her legacy in broadcast journalism lives on. On the business news, the National Bureau of Statistics said that the aggregate value of the tax stood at 948.07 billion naira in quarter of 2023. This is according to the VAT quarter 2023 report released in Abuja on Monday. The report shows a growth rate of 21.34% on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis from 781.35 billion naira in quarter two of 2022. While in sports, Bayern Munich boss Thomas Tuchel has said that striker Henry Kane will love playing at Old Trafford when his team clashes with Manchester United in Tuesday's Champions League tie. Kane was strongly linked with a move to Man United in the summer but ended up joining Bayern Munich from Tottenham Hotspur. The England captain has enjoyed a remarkable start at Bayern Munich scoring 22 goals across 19 games in all competitions for the Bundesliga champions. And that sports news brings us to the end of the news at 8. But before we go, we can buy major stories. Our citizens' right to enjoy good governance sacrosanct. Governor Oti assures Abians. Police recover locally fabricated firearms and arrest four suspects in Enugu State. President Tinibu mourns as veteran broadcaster Aisha Bello dies. These are many more different platforms. Log on to www.abntv.com.ng and you can also follow us on our social media platforms being displayed on the screen. I am Grace Dockers Mikachi. Have a pleasant night, dress. Stay safe.